Hello everyone, Xenomanga here, coming back at you with a new Let's Play, trying to get the other ones out, don't worry about that, but right now, we've got Lucy, the attorney she wished for, alright, played a little bit of it, not too much, only like the basic parts, knew I had to Let's Play this because it just seemed so, it seemed so interesting to me when I bought it. And it somehow has something to do with robots, artificial intelligence, you know I love that stuff. I love that sort of deep meaning sort of thing. So, we're about to start this, okay? Now, voices, I don't know if it's gonna be, you know, voice acted, I have to voice act. That's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Let's do this, alright? Ready to start. Get into this. Alright. really pumped guys because this looks too good three laws of robotics a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm a robot must obey the orders given it by the one pro possessing control or authority except where such orders would conflict with the first law a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. October 12th, you. Let's do it. About to get in this. Modern Visual Arts Laboratory presents I just want to close my eyes. The thought enters my mind as I walk down a busy street. All the brightly lit digital billboards and neon signs covered top to bottom with 3D holograms, emitting various ear-splitting sound effects. They're all giving me a headache. I feel like I could collapse at any moment. This is the display of IT superpower Korea. The constant and in-your-face technology underlines our nation's claim to fame. There have been many drastic and all-encompassing changes in the last few years. And being a person who cherishes nature, I despise these changes. That is why I just want to close my eyes. Blinking doesn't change anything. Everything appears even brighter than usual. I might just be feeling a little off. Maybe it's the weather. I decide to take a shortcut to avoid being overwhelmed. It's a place that will take me away from the blinding lights. I've chosen to take my secret path home. You know, I like that because, like, you know, whoever, like, walked to school, we always had that, like, secret path that we would always take. Yeah, I tell you I did that quite a few times already establishing some connection with the main character here me you Woo! he says I finally breathe a sigh of relief after managing to escape the chaos of downtown I half expect ghosts to pop out at me as I make my way through the shady park path the buildings nearby are all filthy with and worn down with only a few inhabitants around. It seems that I haven't fully escaped all the noises from downtown. The industrial noises from factories and construction work continues to ring in the air. But that's fine. At least my eyes can take a rest. A massive building on the side catches my attention. K Robotics Co. Ltd. That's probably what it would say on the main gates. Although I've never cared much about this place, I've at least heard of it. They've put out various models of robotics which are renowned worldwide. 
I see them on the news quite often. My classmates are always talking about them. They are especially amazed about their androids. Personally, I don't know much about robots. In this generation, it is possible to stay away from technology whether I like it or not. I don't particularly care much about it, though. Hmm, interesting. I'm the kind of person who prefers analog clocks over di digital. Guessing analog clocks are the things with the short hand and the long hand. Props to anyone who knows how to still read those things. I do. That's always good. It's good to know different ways to tell time, especially, you know, depending on which area you're in, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know, it is what it is. Here we go. Pianos over synthesizers. I can understand that, you know, little, little classics. Synthesizers, you know, a little bit, you know, robotic, you know what I'm saying? A little bit technology, you know, classic over robot. Now, I'm sure this is going to bring up certain ideas of are you human if you what is human and what does it mean to be robot and different things of different things you know what I'm saying acoustic guitars over electric I, I think I think we understand we've got this and finally real people over androids ooh little foreshadow here depending on choices depending on things of things might change that attitude there pal I turn my attention back to the sidewalk. I continue towards the hidden path leading to their junkyard. Naturally, this is a private property, so no one is allowed to enter. But this is nothing for a troublemaker like me. Ellipses. Low credits here. Thank you. Thank you for making this game. Good content here. You, you know guys, um, I always see like an anime or like like anything with art, like junkyards are like the most artistic things when people make them, like they're the most like, you just have to think about it all, you know, just like the, the fabric of human nature and life when you look at a junkyard, you know, especially in art pieces. It's always crazy. Here it is, the graveyard for all their failed experiments. In the past, I've seen small tin can-like robots scurrying around and taking apart various objects. Only the more costly parts are recycled, while the cheaper ones are turned into scrap. Everything here is automated. There isn't anyone actually watching over the place. Just a guard robot and several worker robots silently carrying out their duties. If spotted by the guard robot, a siren is activated. I personally never run into any trouble, though. After all, robots are fundamentally stupid. <laughs> a little prejudice right now. I'm, I'm sensing that from him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because, frankly, you know, he might be changing his tune soon. We don't know yet. We gotta keep going. Click again. Even with the guard robot, as long as I'm a bit careful, I can sneak buy without issue. This is where the big company dumps all this stuff. I heard you can find some real goodies from time to time. So I have heard ellipses. Only if you're lucky that is. Pretty sure that guy from my class told me something along those lines. I've already scoped this place out on previous trips to the junkyard. I've never had a good find, though. I wonder if you have homework, brah. Yeah, I hope you're doing your homework while this inner monologue is happening. Guess it's just my luck. Or I can't tell what's useful or not. Probably the latter. Since my, fami <clears throat> Since my familiarity with robots is quite pure. Okay. Whatever. I didn't come here. It's hunt for treasures anyway. This is only a shortcut home. Go home! If I walk straight through the middle, I can shave off almost 10 minutes. Did I say a bad word just now? I really don't know. If I did, I apologize. 
Well, anyway. I can't even remember, that's the thing about it. The reward outweighs the risk. If only I could just ignore the loud noises and the no trespassing signs scattered all over the place, though. I have no reason to care about the piles of scrap around here. As usual, I quickly make my way through the junkyard. Huh? However, today was a little different. Something had caught my eye. A faint figure in the distance. I can't be sure, but it looks like... A person. A, a, a person? In a place like this. A woman. There appears to be an unconscious woman lying on the ground. Oh my! A little classic here. A little classic anime right now. The girl passed out. <laughs> Out of in a, in, a, in a junkyard, about to have to save her. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. Be a good Samaritan. She's not moving. Maybe she's hurt somewhere, or something worse. I start to grow a bit concerned. Had I just stumbled upon a crime scene that might end up on tomorrow morning's headline news? I have to find out what's going on. I'm going in for closer, more, less hasty look, a more detailed look. I dash forward the fallen maiden to lend assistance. But wait, it appears that I was mistaken. It wasn't a woman that was lying on the ground after all. Ah. Uh, I was fooled. My god. Now if that's not everyone's background picture of their computer, but something strikingly similar. Two eyes closed tightly shut. Sparkling silver hair. From afar, you could mistake it for a person. Its features are almost lifelike. An android. That's what was lying here. Achievement unlocked! Abandoned robot! Success! Unless a useless, useless piece of junk. Okay, man, you gotta think. I mean, like. How did he get so prejudiced against these robots? I mean, I don't know what's going on. Hopefully this is explained. Maybe. Don't know how it's useless. I mean, robots have plenty of uses. You know, they help out. You know, they're, they, they, we made them. I mean, like, I, I, I don't know. I guess we'll just continue. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, okay. Don't scare me like that. I've never actually owned an android before, though I've seen quite a few around me. They say that an android is nearly indistinguishable from a person, from just a glance. That's how advanced our technology has become in obviously year 2020. To prevent confusion, androids are imprinted with Serial codes. I don't know if it's actually 2020. I'm just guesstimating here. Each model has its own unique number. I spot the android's code located near its belly. I blow off the dust to get a closer look. It reads ellipses. P ellipses. I ellipses. Pim. 001 or PMI P P I M Why did I say PMI? Anyway, you see it's a barcode, okay? Number one with a design that I've never seen before. Maybe it's a prototype. It looks brand new, so then what's it doing here? Maybe this was one of the failed experiments. It's caked with dust from head to toe. I'm going. Sh this guy is. 
this guy is so dramatic i'm playing his character so dramatic right now and that's what's gonna happen all in all it's a pretty sad sight it's also hasn't moved a single inch looks like it's out cold did he already say that hey wake up like that was going to work curiosity is better than me i decided to test it out I do know that voice recognition is a standard feature for all robots nowadays. Assuming everything is working properly, it should respond to my voice. Responding to my voice. It's been 15 minutes, guys. Almost 16 minutes. Now, we're going to cut here, and then we'll come back, all right? This has been good. We're learning more about this girl. I want to end it on a good note. Don't worry. It'll, part 2 will be up. 30 minutes for your enjoyment, listening to on the bus, whatever you need to. Alright, signing off for now.